Welcome back. And what you're looking at here is a roadmap for months one to three. The first step, as we said, is that you need to understand the theory behind call options and put options and options in general. What, what are these financial instruments? Why did they come about? How did they come about? What were the principles behind them? What was the need for people to have or trade in options? Why was this financial instrument simply conjured up from mathematics? So you need to understand that kind of a history behind options. And all options, if you've not heard of this term before, options are wasting assets, which means they expire. So you can have options that expire this month, next month, in three months, in six months, in two years, whatever. But all options expire. So there's a definite time limit for each of these options. And that adds a level of complexity into how these instruments behave. There are three main factors that affect option prices and that is price movement of the stock, time decay which is which comes back to the element of expiry of options and the implied volatility or volatility of the stock. When you're dealing in stocks it's a simple thing either the stock can go up or it can go down whereas with options you're going to have to look at it as a three-dimensional or four-dimensional uh, instrument. It's very different from stocks in that respect. Because you have all these parameters that dictate options pricing, there are something called option Greeks. And you have Greeks for each of these parameters, whether it's price, time, or volatility, you have Greeks for them. So you need to understand how these Greeks work. And I'm going to show you some of this uh, on the Udemy course itself, how we've planned it out. Here, if you look at our Udemy, my Udemy course, uh, this is the first course. It says learn call options and put options. This is an introduction to options. And if you go through this, it tells you it's got over 22 lectures and three and a half hours of content. And this is where you're going to learn all the basics, all the theory of options. There are things like what is in the money options, at the money options, out of the money options, what is an intrinsic value of an option, what's an extrinsic value of an option, and what are the differences between a buyer of an option and a seller of an option. These are all very, very different things from the stock market. And the buyer of an option is vastly different from the seller of an option. It's not like the buyer and seller of a stock. Uh, you know, they, they don't have any differences except for the fact that one of them is buying and one of them is selling. But that's not the case in options. There's a very distinct difference between a buyer of an option and a seller of an option. So you're going to have to learn all of these things. Then you have something called risk and reward profile and profit and loss and risk graphs. So these are all very different concepts and unless you master these kind of concepts first, it's very difficult for you to put a trade on and make money. I hear this all the time from people that come to our website and learn about options and I get this kind of emails all the time that They've just started trading options about a month ago and they put on some trade. A couple of trades worked well for them. They had a profit and then they blew it all in one trade. I hear this all the time. So please take this very seriously that you have a lot of education to go through. Go through these complete course descriptions. Uh, there's uh, very detailed information on these courses. But so the first three months you're basically looking at studying all this theory because there's a lot of theory there. And then, of course, when, we, when you come to the second course on our Udemy, that's when we, are, we show you the basics about calls and, and put options, and that's this one. So that first course is all theory, and what we cover in that first course is all the basics of option theory, of both call options as well as put options. If you've ever tried to learn options from some other site or anywhere, you, you would have seen that everybody uses complicated language. They use a lot of jargon. 
they assume that you know certain things and they're going to talk about strike prices and expiry series and and you know none of that is really intuitive so we've taken a very different approach here you'll see that in the first course itself options are explained using real world examples we don't talk about anything about financial markets at all we take a real estate example for call up call options and we take an insurance example for put options and we analyze these two examples in complete detail and within these two examples you'll exactly know how price movement can can affect an option how time decay can affect an option and how volatility can affect an option you never have to go into the actual financial markets or look at an option screen to understand these concepts and that's the approach we've taken in course 1 and in course 2 we get into the actual calls and puts we look at real apple options and everything that you studied in theory in in the first course you're going to see it exactly like that in the platform like i said there are some things like the option greeks and volatility these are uh, slightly more advanced concepts for you to learn but if you don't learn them your option strategies or your trades will never be right so in the first 1 to 3 months this is what you're going to be doing you're going to be learning about the basics of options and but what you should do during this time is open a paper money account so we use think or swim in all our examples i think it's a fantastic platform and uh, think or swim is now part of td ameritrade you can open an account with just a minimum $100 or $200 and that will give you access to their paper money account and every account holder that opens an account gets this paper money account you get $100,000 of funny money to play around with so make use of that put in a long call or put in a long put when i say long call and long put we are buying a call or buying a put option see how it goes once you've studied the greeks once you see what time decay is once you see what the volatility is you can now see those things for real in your trades and that's what you should be doing and while you're doing that try to look at technical analysis we have a course on technical analysis in udemy itself learn basic chart reading skills because chart reading skills are extremely important for you to be able to time your exits or your entries so charts do give out a lot of information and especially if you do volume analysis when you look at volume that's where you can really see the smart money or the hedge funds or the big players coming in because when they come in the volume uh, spikes and when they leave the volume spikes then too because they are selling and all of that is selling volume so there are these kinds of analysis skills that you need to develop in the first 3 months although those are not directly related to options but that's what will make you into a 360 degree trader so for the first 3 months focus on the theory open a paper trading account learn about chart reading skills learn about technical analysis learn about volume analysis and completely try to understand the theory behind options and don't rush yourself and if you feel that you've gotten a certain knowledge put it into the paper money account put some trades on put put a one contract trade see what happens put a five contract trade now as you increase size you'll realize that you know you're also increasing the risk in your positions but until you do that you won't actually have a feel for how the position will behave now there are pluses and minuses with a paper money account the pluses is that it's obviously it's funny money so you can afford to lose it without losing anything but trading has a very big emotional component to it and when you're trading in paper money this emotion doesn't come in so if you can make yourself get into the trade as much as you can even though you know it's funny money if you can get yourself into the trade that will be very helpful because when you're trading with your real money you'll find that your personality your character your temperament all of that comes into play 
So that aspect of real money cannot be simulated on the paper money account. And that's the negative with a paper money account. But that's okay. Don't worry about it. For the first one to two months, just practice on this paper money account. And But make sure you're understanding the theory. Because if you don't understand this theory, you cannot go forward. And if you do go forward, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to lose money. So that's as far as months one to three are concerned. Let's go into the next lecture and I'll show you what your months four to six are going to look like. Thank you.